Follow me into a room. User left your channel. What the fuck? User left your channel. Hey, that's good. <clears throat> User joined your channel. Hey guys, Zikor here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the, the storm map territory. black gold i'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks and reviews so i'm gonna be starting with the attacking side first off when you spawn here it doesn't really matter where you go i haven't really found the best way it doesn't really matter but if you're a sniper you want to snipe, snipe a little bit uh it's better if you go over there and go that tower so first off the first trick is that when you're coming over here, normally there's a sniper over there camping. So th there's a really good grenade spot which you can use to get them. And it's exactly like around over here. So what I normally do is I run over here and when I'm here I, th I throw it like that. As you can see, uh, if you get it right, it lands exactly over there and it kills him. But if not, it lands over here, like you saw. And usually, if there's, uh, you have a, there's a pretty high chance of you killing someone. So then, uh, other grenade spots you can throw uh, over there, and it's gonna fall in the command post. So if there's any camping medics or NGs, you can get them. And uh, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, and a pretty good uh, thing to do if you uh, at the start is to boost up over there. So you go from all the way back there and uh, flank them from here. Because usually there's a sniper camping over here or a rifleman, I don't know. So you can just drop down here and take them out like that. Then go in the command post. So I'm going to capture real quick and we'll we go to position. the second part of the map. Okay, so now Enemy that you, you've Wait captured the... the first command post if you uh, come to the second command post usually uh, a lot of storm maps uh, there's a pretty high chance of getting spawn traps so if you feel just like chilling out and <laughs> farming some kills you can come over here and pick up some sniper kills on if someone is in the truck or let's say if someone is at the, the that box over there you can get them from over here if a sniper or an assault rifle. Um, but other than that, you can next up. You have to move up. So if you come from over here, you can uh, shoot a few random bullets in the hope to get someone if they're at that box again. That's a, the main repair point the main uh, spot where people go uh, or you can just come from over here and flank them uh, you could take the risk and go in their spawn so you can take out the snipers that usually stay over here but I wouldn't suggest doing that because it's very risky because they just spawn and they can kill you with spawn protection but uh, when you come in the command post the, this is where it's, it's really important to use, have a good strategy. So if you come over here, the best place to be to take out enemies and capture at the same time is over here. So if you stand over here, you see you're capturing at the same time. And you can get and pick up anyone that comes out of their spawn right away. And uh, usually they throw grenades over there, so you're protected from that as well. But you can watch over there. You can just move a few steps and get anyone that comes from there as well so now we're gonna go for the third command post attacking side doesn't have m that many strategies but the it's mainly the defending the defending side that has the main strategies and stuff okay so now that you're at the third command post uh, there's many different ways you can 
take uh, if you're a sniper you could go from over there and choose the long range and uh, pick up enemies from different parts of the around the command post uh, if you want the quickest way to get to the command post I would suggest over here but uh, normally uh, a lot of times there's a sniper camping over there who can just pick you off easily so uh, you wanna you don't wanna really just uh, you wanna stay in cover a little bit and approach as carefully as possible you can uh, come out from here when you get to this or you could instead of going over this which people uh, tend to put claim was over here you could go around here and climb this pick up pick up a few snipers that are uh, maybe camping over there then you just climb from here and usually th this is a very good uh, way to uh, go to the command post because usually there's someone camping over there so you can just headshot the guy over there and then you take out the person that's over there and then you just get on site there maybe sometimes there's gonna be people over there as well but if you come from over here you can take them out as well a lot of times there is people camping over here so you can just peek from over here and uh, take them off their proning or something now when it comes to capturing uh, you're gonna have to watch out for all the grenades that they're gonna throw and uh, the spot that I suggest you s where you should stand is over here so if people come climb up these stairs you can just take them out from over here and usually when they throw their grenades it's gonna land somewhere over here or even over there so if you s stay over here there's not really gonna be any grenades that are gonna hit you so you can safely capture the command post without uh, needing to watch out for grenades and I think that's pretty much it for the attacking side if there was anything I'm gonna add it in later but after this we're gonna switch to the defending side hey everyone Z Core here and today we're gonna be taking a, a full look at the storm map black gold um, I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of tricks and tips uh, if you want that will gonna help you are gonna help help you uh, hopefully win the game so I'm gonna start off on the defending side so uh, two things that you really need in the storm game mode are the normal grenade and the smoke grenades they're really useful and you should always have them with you uh, you can have multiple grenades if you want and multiple smokes but uh, as long as you have at least one you're, you're good to go so first off, when you get out of spawn on the defending side, the best uh, if you use if you use if you throw your grenade like I just threw it uh, in this exact spot, Bro, I'm, I'm like when they see when they see uplifted, the, the first thing they're gonna be like, you know what? I don't want to I don't want to play uplifted. Just peek in there. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna like under frag. Uh, gameplay or? Nah, he's in the safe house. It looks like. Hey, what is that barrel? What the fuck? Uh, you're pretty much guaranteed a first blood grenadier if you time it well and throw it uh, far enough. I'm gonna add in a clip showing you how it's done and how you can get the grenadier. I've done this multiple times uh, before. It, it works a lot of times, so I would say like three out of five times you get a, at least one grenade kill uh, when you start the game like this. Then. Uh, people usually tend to go camp and that snipers tend to go over there and camp and pick people off so what you want to do is throw your grenades smoke grenade either over there or just over here so you don't pick you off uh, as you're throwing the smoke grenade then if you if you spawn and your command post get, is getting captured uh, what I usually do is I take I pull out my grenade let's say this is my grenade pull out my grenade I start cooking it around here and when I go over here I throw it over there on the ground so if there's people usually go in this corner and stay over here but if they're the, in, the impact of the grenade is pretty big grenades is pretty big so <clears throat> even if they're standing over here you could probably kill them or damage them enough uh, then if you're a sniper and you want to go up there and pick them off you could always uh, over here and use a use the help of a teammate to get up there and that is the 
fast isn't the best way to get up there. But if there's no teammates and you really want to get over there, uh, there's a way around it. So if this thing is over here, this phase, I, I guess, you can, uh, you have to jump on this. Then you come on this and walk along to over here. Then you jump towards this this spot. Uh, you could uh, jump directly on these, but it's a little bit more tricky here. Let me show you. They changed this so that when you uh, climb something that is directly in front of you, you climb over it. So you can't really jump on top of them. So if you want to jump on them, uh, what you have to do is you have to jump sideways. It's so like this. And then you just go to the edge and, like I said, uh, make sure your stam stam make sure your stamina is full so that when you want to jump over there, you don't risk falling down. Uh, you don't risk not jumping at all. When you get over here, uh, there's the attacking side has a free uh, has a really easy way of getting here. So uh, usually, as a sniper, you want to bring out uh, bring a anti-personnel mine and plant it over here or at the bottom of the tower over here so that they die before they get to you and ambush you. Then uh, another really good engineer uh, mine spot is over here so what I usually do is that since I'm defending I don't really rush over there, I used to rush and get go for the kills, but I just uh, play passively and stay uh, around the command post. So I just usually stay around this truck or around this truck and pick off uh, the enemies that try to come in. And in order, since people can flank from this side, I when I'm NG, I just plant a mine over here so that I don't need to worry. Or even if they have a, 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 a boots that delay mines, uh, you can hear the explosion or uh, you can see the head marker that your uh, mine got on them and you can just turn around and pick them off. Uh, when you run out of spawn from over here, it's really important that you watch out for people who are going to be standing over there and picking you off because you're an easy target who's just running out of their spawn. And even over there, there might be some people proning, uh, watching for people to kill another good grenade spot is if you throw the grenade uh like over there around towards that tower you have to throw it in a way that it's gonna hit these walls and bounce off here because a lot of people uh the way that they choose to approach the command post is from here so you can just throw the grenade it bounces off and it kills them over there next up there's this tower which is a really important uh spot that you can use first of all if you have a uh, fast shoe, yeah, fast shoes, you could probably get over there, I don't know if they, my, no, my boots don't allow it, I think that now that they decrease the speed of uh, all boots, there's no way you can get over there, but if not, you can just, the best place to go is come up here, you can watch pretty much, uh, you can cover a lot of space, first there's the snipers that camp over here, uh, camp over there, and the people that try to come from that way then there's people who might be camping up top and there's also people who come from here and uh, can give you a lot of easy kills and even uh, sometimes there's gonna be people camping over there a lot of times actually so you can just pick them off uh, over from oh, top here from over here and even if there's people capturing and the, uh, some somehow someone got past you you can uh, try to pick them off from uh, top here here you can shoot uh, you can shoot through this thing that is covering the command post you can get people that are standing over there uh, pretty easily and even if someone is in that corner you can shoot through this thing and pick them off and you gotta watch out for people who go in that tower uh, normally they head glitch over there or else you can pick them off from the top over there or in the middle part.